Understanding styles in Word is super easy and will come in very handy, I promise. The main reason to use styles is to increase efficiency. Styles allow you to change the style of a large document at the click of a button without needing to redo the whole thing. They also allow you to automatically create a table of contents. Imagine you have a really large document, say 180 pages. Within that document you have headings, subheadings, bullet points, all that stuff. You could individually format each heading, highlight it, make it bold, maybe you want a border around it. But then you decide you don't want your headings to look like that. You want them a little bigger, you've changed your mind about the font, and you don't want the border. If you formatted them individually without using styles, you're going to have to change them individually. Using styles, you can change all of your headings with a couple of clicks. The same goes for paragraphs, lists, subheadings, and so on. So let's take a look and create some headings now. I want to make this highlighted text a heading. Now, you'd be doing this as you go along creating the document. For demonstration purposes, I have a whole bunch of text that hasn't been formatted, so I can show you a few things. The most important thing to remember about styles is that you determine and change how they look. So if you've ever clicked heading one or paragraph and thought, I don't want my heading or paragraph to look like that, that's fine. You're in control of the styles. In this example, I want my heading to be Arial Bold. I'm then going to right click heading one and update to match selection. This means every time I use heading one, it will change the font to look like this. Let's try that now. I'm going to go to another piece of text that I want to make a heading. Highlight it and now simply click heading one. I'm going to do the same thing to a third heading now. But now I've decided that I don't want my headings to look like this. I want them to be Arial 14 and I want them to be blue. I also want the headings underlined. I'm going to make my changes, then right click heading one and update. You'll see that all of the other headings automatically updated, so there's no need to change every heading individually. Now I'm going to move on to my subheadings. I've decided I want my subheadings to be Arial, 12 and Grey. I'm now going to find the subheading style and once again right click and update to match selection. I'm going to do this with all of my subheadings. Now I'm going to go ahead and format my paragraphs. I'm going to highlight a paragraph, make it Arial Regular, size 12, and update my normal style to match selection. Now all of my paragraphs are Arial, size 12. Let's take one final look at changing our headings. I don't want them to be blue or underlined anymore. So I'm going to reformat them, make them black again. Let's remove the underline and increase the size to a size 14 and update the heading to match selection. You'll see that all of the headings have now changed. Now let's insert a table of contents. To do this, you're going to click on References, Table of Contents, and we're going to go Custom. 
The information for your table of contents is derived from these settings. You can play around with this. I want the information in the table of contents to come from heading one. In this case, I don't want any information from the subheadings or paragraphs included, but this is something you can play with. Once you have that, click OK and OK again, and miraculously, you will see your table of contents. Your table of contents has been populated based on the information in your headings. It's that simple. That's the basics of styles. For more information, I recommend playing around with a document, a little bit of trial and error. There are also loads of great courses on LinkedIn Learning. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more handy content. Also share this video with anyone who might find it useful. And if you're not already, be sure to join the fabulous EA How To Facebook and LinkedIn communities. LinkedIn is for all the professional stuff. Facebook is where we talk it out over a pink gin. Bye for now. Peace, love and pink gin.